Good morning everyone. I hope you're well. It's Rachel and we are going to work on these journals and get them to a good point. So as you can see, I haven't touched it since the other day. I'm going to take these off, put them back in their spot up there. And now what happens is, is it's quite stiff. So you just need to very slowly jiggle it. And then it just takes its shape. Look at that. And there we have our pages inserted and they're very secure. Probably need to trim those down a little bit. It's not the end of the world. And here I'm going to, I have, what did I, did I say I was going to collage on this one or was it the other one? I'm going to cut that off because I'm going to cover that all up. Or I, I think I might put, it's very, very secure. Those pages are not going. And look how flat, it just lays lovely and flat. I love it. Very pleased. So, or I can put some scrapbooking paper or I could put a jar of paper there, but no, I, I would, I prefer to, um, because I'm putting a lot of glue, I would prefer to put, if I were to put a printed paper, I would prefer to have it on cardstock. So I think I'll just um, probably put some sort of um, cardstock there and I love that, really like it. Now let's have a look at Lulu's. Now Lulu's, it's all dry, it's a bit stiff, so we need to jiggle about a bit. And with hers, we're going to do the Midori style bounding. So let me just, binding, not bounding. So let me just um, grab my, my elastic cord, and that's, I think it's a two mil. I just bought a huge thing of it on Amazon. And... I'm going to just do one signature because it's not a very deep spine. My big hole I need. And I just eyeball it. So I'm going to do my... Go as far in as you can and do a hole there. And then one a bit further down the, there. And then do the same up here. And I'm just eyeballing where the center is. It's about there. Lulu will not be. Well, once she becomes an architect, if she becomes an architect like her dad, she'll be seeing the crooked things because her dad can see within a flash if something is crooked. Okay. So now I'm going to choose... I think I'm going to use these. Or will I? You should probably like these as well. This colour. Oh, I think that colour's pretty. So I always put your bottom one in. I just guess it doesn't matter, but I put my bottom one in first and squeeze it in. Yep. See, I'm a very haphazard crafter. I like that blue with the lovely leather. And then we'll do this one down here. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. We have a foggy, cloudy day. We've had fog for quite a few days. That can happen here in our area. Um, we can have fog for, we cannot see the sun for like months. Like when when um, I was pregnant with Lulu, mum came over. I remember she arrived on the 7th of October in 2005. And Lulu was due in around mid-November. I oh, know, 20th of November she was due, I remember. And she was born five days earlier on my brother's birthday, my older brother's birthday. Anyway, um, and so mum arrived on the 7th of October. And I think and she left around the 8th of, something like the 8th of um, February. And... Yes, we go down here. I just have to think about this and come back in at the top and then go right down to the bottom and then come in there. Um, and yes, yeah, so, and she probably saw five days of sun. That's how, and that it was really, really thick fog. So that can happen here. It's always was quite depressing for me when I used to come home from Australia and it's summer. And I and I, I really I really wanted to just live at home. I didn't want to live here. 
and um, I know, isn't that? I mean, I'm quite happy now, but I, I do get homesick um, still after all these years. But anyway, and I used to come back here and I just used to cry for like two weeks because it was just like um, fog for all of the month of January. We never saw the sun. It was terrible. And I find it just really oppressive, the fog. I don't like it. Lily likes it. She finds it mysterious. I don't, I just don't like it. I feel closed in. So this elastic's not really for anything. I mean, you could slip something in there if you wanted to. That's just where you tie it. That's really a logistical elastic. And then I might need to snip down. Oh no, they should be all right. See, these get snipped. So that way you can have your pages, to, you know, flush to the top and bottom if you want. And then you snip those. So then it, the elastic doesn't pull them. So that will slide in there. But I want to work on the inside of the cover. Actually, I should, while I'm here, with this one as well, because this one's nearly complete. I've just got a few things to put in it. Um, I've, I'm not going to, I think I wasn't going to put anything in there because I just love that. But here I wanted to create some sort of, or a belly band, just to slide that in. But I don't want to get out my, I don't want to, I don't want to use my sewing machine because I haven't set my sewing machine up here because it's, um, this table is very wobbly. So I was thinking I might take my table, uh, my sewing machine down to the bottom floor. And if I need to set it up down there, there's a table down there. And, and maybe, um, so I'm just going to eyeball where the center is. I need my big one. It would be easier if I took the pages out, but you know me. Um, yeah, I might set my sewing machine up down there so that way if I need to stitch anything, I can just go down and do it. I just wiggle it around to make sure it cuts because it's going through lots of layers. This is the best contraption. I would say this is, I, I, re, I was quite resistant. I didn't want to buy one. Um, but then once I got, got this, I just love pulling it out and using it. I think I'm just going to use a silvery sort of one. I don't know if it's going to go through. I'm really going to have to do a big squeeze here. Yep. Oh, yes, it does. It's an amazing contraption. It really is. They cost a little bit um, because they're very good quality, but they're well worth the investment. So a nice gift to give yourself when you have a bit of extra cash. Very useful thing. And I need to go down and get my sari silks. They're down on the bottom floor. So um, that will go there. And I'll have one shorter one and one long one that wraps around twice and then they tie in a bow. And that's how that's going to close. Okay. So let's work on Lulu's while she's not here. Maybe I should... I wonder where I put my originals. Hmm. I've got them somewhere. I have no idea where I've put things since we've moved. I'm very confused. Did I show you these that I cut down? I cut them down. So I'm going to do two little tags. Look how cute they are. This was what we did the other day. Oh, I've already backed those. And then, look, see, they're not backed yet because they could become pockets or, or journal cards or tags or whatever. So I just leave the back plain so I, then I can decide. But don't they look great once you cut them down? I love that particularly love those two they're like hoardy ones okay so let's i should use original stuff in lulu's i don't know where i put it hmm. my brain is ticking over i have no clue where the originals are but i do have some original stuff here oh no oh let me show you these this is not so, this is, a, this is, I got, the, this is like parchment. It must have been a really old one. Look at the condition. Um, must have been a really old one, 1924. But I, I would say the um, cover was old or something because, and look at, oh, I just want to show you. Look how they kept their pages together, like, so they could open up to the next page, if you know what I mean. Like, they poked a hole through and put that in there. So I thought that was really cool. It's just a little ledger. And then... Wait for it. Wait till you see this. It's in terrible condition, but look at this that I got. I'm keeping this. It's 1801. They've stitched everything together up there. There's all the stitching there. Really. I don't know. I guess they kept adding documents. Look at that. And they didn't even, they didn't worry about it. 
1801. It's just this some sort of collection of documents and things. There's one 1798, but they're all 1801. And then look at this 1802. I think Steffi's already scanned some. Look, and he's um, going to use it in some new digis that he's doing. And then there was this inside. Oh my gosh, I nearly died when I saw this. It's hand-drawn map. I just love it. I could be capable of taking that out and framing that. It's just amazing. It's someone's land. It's a plot of land and there's the property there, I think. Um, I could probably read it. I haven't had taken the time to read it yet. But it's just wonderful. That says... Um, um, so that's the land, and then this is the explanation of the land, and then there's all the numbers I see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to have a look at that. I might have to have my mother-in-law help me. She'll be able to read it better than me. But I was super excited to purchase that. And all different, I think different people have written in there. This one's 18, yeah, 1801. I love the, the um, stamp, 1802. <gasps> and look at that page. Isn't that the one? Oh. I just love it. Yeah, so def definitely a keeper. See, I'm not terrible. I don't pull apart things that are special. Well, they're all special, but some things are falling apart special. And little doodles and things. So cool. Ne I need to explore that one more. And then I got from my dealer man. He puts these things aside knowing that I'm going to swing by. Um, is it upside down? It is. So this is a ledger, 1895 to 1900. I never, or 1901, I never find things like that here. So I get really excited when I do. And look, I can't pull this one apart either. Look at this. It's the farm of Luigi Luzi Lousy Fideli. <laughs> Conti Corenti, so accounts. Um, but wait till you see inside, look at the writing. But inside, this is we're just getting a little bit sidetracked here. Look at this. I mean, do you think he had a bit of time on his hands? He's done all this and with the ink pen, not like a biro. And he's done and that writing. I need to sit down and see if I can copy that writing. It's amazing. And then there's other pages that are decorated as well. I haven't flipped through it all, but I did ca catch sight of another, some other decorated pages. Steffi's already scanned them. Hmm. <laughs> The, look at that that is really i mean sarah if you i'll have to tell sarah to watch this look at the i mean that is pam garrison style lettering it's just amazing and all these little squiggly things yep so i was super excited to get that very rare things to find here but very exciting when you do so there you go a bit of, bit of side tracking there now i'm trying what i was trying to I have a little pile of papers here and I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see if I had anything. I could use a bit of that. I've got. Sorry, there's a hair on there. Um, they're all plain, I think. They're all old, plain papers. But you know, I could glue something like that in. Um, I wonder where I put all my originals of the other papers that are in my ephemera kits. That um like that duck. I've got them somewhere. Mm. No, they're not. They're just regular. So the pages, so I'll put those over there. And I might have to use the, because I've got this, so I've never, have I ever shown you this? It's a bit of a show and tell today. Um, I bought this from a, a, a seller in England. Um, I really love it. It's one of those little writing desks. And this is where I put all my original bits and pieces of postcards and stuff that I'm hoarding. Some of those I haven't put in kits yet. And then look, I've oh, I've got such a collection. I just love these. I'm going to have to do something with them. All of these lovely little... Um, some of them you will have seen in kits and some haven't gone in kits yet. I just think they're beautiful. That's a postcard. I'm wondering if I've got any of my little writing bits in there. I th oh, look at this. That could be 1500s, they told me. They weren't sure of the date. I love that. That has, I'm going to put, I'm going to make, I've got, actually, I've got some, no, I don't think they're in there. I've got some um, beautiful old antique fabrics 
from the 1700s and I'm going to make a stitch book just and just simply stitch in the beautiful antique fabrics and I'm going to put that in there. Uh, I can't find where my originals are. Mm, oh, this could be a spot where they might be. I've got this book that I made into a box. Could they be in here? No, I don't think they are. These are all postcards that I've had in my kits. No, they're all postcards. So it's not in there either. Okay, well, there we go. I have no idea where I've put them. I've put them somewhere. Okay, well, we'll just have to crack on because I'm not finding them. So I'm thinking this is lovely. And I think, excuse me here. Sorry, I have long hair and I just blow dried it. And so it is, I'm going to put that there. So where's my ruler here? And you're probably thinking, why are you tearing that? I can use that for something else. That's why I'm going to tear that. And I do like that there. Or do I like it more over here even? I might like it more over there. I am a little bit obsessed with the duck. I think I want to put the duck somewhere. It's a bit of an obsession. I can use that as a glue page, you know, like as a collage page. So I very carefully want to put some, I'm just going to put glue stick on there. Okay. Oh, no, they're my good scissors. Put those there. Well, they're not great scissors, but they're better scissors than the black ones. The black ones used to be fabric scissors, but then they went blunt, so then I just use them for paper crafting, and I like them very much. They're a nice weight. I don't know. I think it's the weight of them that I like. Just going to make sure I get glue everywhere. where I put all those things, hadn't I? Did I put enough glue? I think I did. Like that. Considering that Madame is going to sell <laughs> all of my stuff, I better get some of the original things glued down or they'll be back off to the markets. I was thinking about, like, I was, I think I commented to someone or oh, I said it in the video, I would make, I would be having a shrine of my mum's stuff, like both her, ma her made stuff, but also her, her supplies, because I love everything that mum has. And, you know, in the past, this is terrible, but in the past, poor mum, um, no, she thinks it's funny though. In the past, we have all, <laughs> with her furniture too, we've, we put stickers, we had different coloured stickers, <laughs> put stickers under them because there's four of us. And, and my brother, my older brother once got really annoyed and he said, you put stickers on everything. And I said, well, I didn't think you cared. <laughs> so I did put stickers on everything. <laughs> anyway, aren't we awful? Poor mum. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out my composition here. I think I'm going to have that down there. I'm not going to put any pockets because I don't feel like that Lulu will have any use for pockets or anything like that. Like... Well, she could change, I guess, as she grows up. She might become someone who likes to journal. But she, at the moment, she does write things down. She has books where she writes things down and she does sort of brain dumps or word dumps, you know, like if she's feeling anxiety. She usually comes and talks to me, but um, I told her sometime, or if someone upsets her, I told her, she, mum told me this, that she should just go and write it down in her book, what she would say to them. And then, you know, just to get it out of her system. Um, and so I think she does that sometimes. I think I'm going to put it over there. Because I like that bit there. I don't want to cover it all up, you see. Just have little peekaboos out. And I love the edge of this page like that. Um, so, yeah, so she does write things, but she doesn't seem to want to write in the, this type of book yet. She likes notebooks. She's, at, you know, she's only young, so she's she likes her notebooks. So, um yeah, she does. I think she does write. 
I wish I had my original duck. I would have put that in there. Oh, well, ho-hum. Now, throw that out. And we do need a little pop of colour, I think. And we could have a little piece of this. feeling a bit hungry actually I haven't had breakfast yet Could, oh I think I like that up there just a little piece of Florentine paper why not There, and I wonder if I want another bit of that. I had a little piece of one of my. So, wish I, I just want to tear this one out. Oopsie. So, I'm just trying to, you know, my, my normal thing is, is, is the, as I said, the scrapbooking paper and a pocket. But I don't often collage on, on um, the beginning pages, and I feel like that's something. And I, I think that's something to be explored further rather than just doing the usual um, scrapbooking paper and pocket. just want to tear this one down and see. I might just give a bit of colour. I don't want to cover too much up here. Have it shooting there. I really do need to find where I... I put them, don't I? The originals. There. Let me just then you know if you have a doubt, just put your journal there. Oh, I'm not liking the look of that's just an accident. I am liking the look of it. I want something going the other way, so I'm not going to use that. It's too big. Have that little random I like that no I think I'm gonna put that I think I'll put it over there just put that there and then if Lulu wanted to if she were to decide to use it she could put a label there and and label whatever it's for this is a little bit of scan trim that someone sent me for a lovely lady in France Sabine I think it was Sabine who sent it to me that's my last bit of that one I really enjoyed it Okay, so I think that's enough. I don't think I want to put anything else. So that's Lulu's project done. And now I have to decide, am I going to give it to her? Am I going to give it to her? That's the centre here. Am I going to give it to her for, uh, you know, as part of an Easter present, do you think? Or am I? It needs to go in there. You see, that's, that's okay. Good. So it's done. I've finally done it. And I'll tie a bit of sari silk around it. Oh, the other nice thing that you can do with this type, and I'm, I haven't done it often, is you could put another hole there. But how are you going to get the hole there? You'd have to, you'd have to do it with your drill, with your Japanese screw punch. Put a hole in there and you could put a, a you know, have an elastic coming out and flip it around. Or you could put some sari silk. So you could have your tie coming out the the back of the spine but I'm just going to tie some sari silk so that's done I really like that I really like it it's got some original bits I think that's coming off let's just glue that okay I love that okay all right I want to do more of that sort of thing so I'll put that aside that's done and now let's work on this one so I probably need to Or will I collage on there? Blue pieces. Oh, I quite like that. Quite like that. I might glue that there. And then I'll have a pocket. I will do the pocket here because this is for someone else. This is not for me. So, you know, I'm not deciding for someone else. I'm just going to put that piece of paper over there so I can collage on that. And I'm going to grab another... Louis bit of paper 
few bits. Hmm. Doesn't really matter, does it? This is, or it's late 1700s or it's early 1800s. I've, I don't know until what <coughs> decade of the 1800s, but they still used the rag paper, especially the ones in the first two decades. From even up to the 1830s, I've noticed they still have the rag paper. I've got quite a few um, books with rag paper from that period of time. I need to put it right up there. It's going to be good. Nice and glued down. I like that. And as I'm going to put a pocket down here, I feel I'm not going to worry about that little bit down there. I probably will put a pop of colour, but I'll wait till I put my pocket. So let's see over here. Um, what we might put there. Um, oh, you know what else could be nice? Some sort of, not those florals. Maybe something, oh, there's some more blue pages. Let's bring those over here, otherwise I'll get confused. A confused Rachel is not a good Rachel, we know that. Okay, so I could have, where's my Floridian book? I think it's all the way over there. Just a second. And then I'm going to do a tidy up in my room after this video because I'm in a mess. And then I might show you the room sometime soon when I've tidied it up because I almost can't get to the window. I just dump things. And I don't know where things are. And so I just need to tidy it up. And um, let's move this over here and see. See, I love that. Maybe the colourful one. It's on the other side. Wouldn't you love to have one of those books? I would have died and gone to heaven if I had one of those. Never seen. They'd cost a bomb. Did I ever tell you um, that I went to this um, antique market and they had, um, it was like, it was the special edition books. And... Um, and so they have all that they have all the regular books and everything like um, the less important books, and then they have the really special books. And I was there with my mother-in-law, and and we went through. We love looking through the the special book part. That's where I got my. That's when I got my um, illustrated butterfly book from eighteen seventy, um, and the dealer said to me. It was like it wasn't cheap, cheap, but it wasn't, you know, like it wasn't thousands. It was just like a hundred, I think it was a hundred and something. Um, but then I scanned all of the, the butterfly plates so that I could justify the expense of it. Um, I'm going to put that there. Um, so anyway, and he said to me, oh, you can buy that. And then, um, you know, like I can't charge less than that because the dealers buy them and then they pull them apart. And then they sell you the, the illustrated plates for, you know. They might sell them for 10 or 20 euro each, each image. And so then they make a mint on the book. Um, and I was like, oh God, I, I could never pull that apart. So I didn't, I've got it in my bookshelf. Well, actually it's, it's put away at the moment, but it is in my bookshelf. Um, anyway, I can't pull things like that apart. That's just, I wouldn't be able to do that. Anyway, so we're walking around. It might've been even that time when I got that. Um... Oh, and my mother-in-law, she did negotiate a deal for me because you know, she's very good at negotiating. She comes along. That's her job. She has to negotiate um, because otherwise I'm too shy to negotiate anything. Anyway, I need to put some of this glue on because I need it to stick. That's stuck. Okay. So I've got glue under my finger now. Now, I just, I don't like the sticky business of this all. So we we're walking around and there was this very big book it would have been as big as my home my arteza mat here my could have even been bigger it was a leather bound book and it was open and it had um the most amazing um hand illustrations they were all architectural details it was just beautiful and i said oh wouldn't that be wonderful gift for steffi and so his mum, so the guy put on gloves and he's turning these amazing huge pages. Like each page was the size of this and illust like hand done with the ink, pen, the drawings, just incredible. 
And so um, his mum asked, I said, no, don't ask the price because that's how bad I am. really painfully shy. I'm like, no, don't ask the price. Um, and she, she, she asked, it was 7,000 euro. I'm like, well, Steph will have to wait until his next lifetime <laughs> to get a 7,000 euro gift. <laughs> but it was really amazing. Besides the fact that the logistics, like you'd have to have, I, I mean, I live in a little apartment, you know, well, we love our apartment. It's the perfect size for us. I wouldn't want anything bigger. But if I, I would need to buy a new apartment to house the book. Let's just say that because you need to have something special. Where are you going to put a big book like that? You'd have to have it on your coffee table. But then you wouldn't want people touching it. It really needs to be stored in a special... I think I'm going to put this here, even though it might be covered up. Um, you need to have, like, some special... Um, place to put it where it's you know protected and also um they kind of you know the really precious books need to be stored have a re you know special um i keep saying special because it's all special um a um controlled climate they have a there's this amazing um actually it's one of the um best preserved um libraries in europe and it's in chisena um, it's called, it's called the Bibliotheca Malatestiana, I think it is. Um, the Malatesta family were a very famous, wealthy Renaissance family here in, in our area. You know, and they were sort of, they weren't fighting with the Medici, but at the same time as them, but in our area. So anyway, um, it's the most, it's got all of the, you know, the books there you go. I've just talked you through that and I've nearly done it. So let's find a pocket. We need to go into the things that I've got left over from Jarp. And I just put them somewhere. Where did I put them? Mm, I did put them somewhere. I'm spinning around in my chair looking. Oh, my word. There. Found them. Um, yes, so they've got all those amazing manuscripts. The... You know, with the illustrations. I did actually like that. I made that to be a pocket, but I could use look at that. I could mm, that's gonna go going in the wrong direction. I'm looking at the things that I've let's just pull them all out. There's tags in there as well, so I'll have to sort of rifle through them. There's not much left after filling up the other one. I'll have to I will have to make more, but I'll probably do it off camera. Because I want to move on to the next projects. Yep, they have, oh, it's just the most amazing um, library and just incredible books and not that one. I wouldn't put that one there. One of these are nice, but I feel like I might need something more. Just rifling through here. I might need to make something. I do like that. That fits nicely. Put something in there. I might put that one there, but let me just have a look at this. Oh, that one I was going to glue down in two spots. That's those. That one's not done. And then these are all journal cards. Put the journal cards down there. And I just want to... Now, that's facing that way. So that could go on the back page. So I think I'm going to put that one there. Yes. And it's the perfect size. Because I think my pages will be smaller. So this is going to be good here. So I'm going to glue that down. I think I might be allergic to this tacky glue because did I get any, I might've gotten it. I had, I got a really dry, um, this sort of started to have a reaction here and, and it was quite painful actually. And I put some cortisone cream on and it, it healed it almost straight away, which was great, but I'm going to be very careful not to get this glue. I think it might be this glue on my fingers because I'm used to my um, non-toxic glue, you see. I didn't glue down the bottom. I'm used to my non-toxic glue, which is the PVA glue. And I know I was using this when I was gluing, doing this job the other day. So I'm thinking I might have, might be a bit allergic to it. So I'm going to be careful. So you know what I'll do? I'm going to get, grab my bone folder. That's what I'll do. To, um, moved. Still a bit crooked. 
So I had an ice. My sister's now just arrived back. I think she arrived back yesterday from her week trip with my mum to my older brother's place up in Queensland, in Brisbane. And um, so they're home and it's my nephew's birthday and they, I rang them to see how they were. I thought I'll ring them before they go out to dinner. Well, they were having an early dinner and they were at the restaurant and my other cute little nephews came because my other brother arrived. I'm going to put something here, but I'm not sure yet. Um, and, and oh, I don't want to cover that up. I don't. I really don't. So I'm not going to put anything like that there. Um, and so, what was I going to say? I was distracted by my page. My page distracted me. Um, oh, I was going to tell you something about my sister. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say, yep. Yeah, and they were at the restaurant and my little nephews arrived and they said hello to me, even though they don't really know me that well because I haven't been there for a while. They've forgotten but um, I haven't been there for two years. Actually, the little one doesn't know me at all because he he's only two. And he was six months old the last time. He's two and a bit. He was six months old when I last went there. Um, but he's, he was showing me his um, Paw Patrols. And and, he's, and he said, hello, Rachie. So I thought I was slight melt my heart. And, um, and so let's start putting some pockets in here. And I, was, I said, it just made me feel... I felt I feel a bit homesick is what I'm trying to say. I was feeling sad that I wasn't able there to support, you know, uh, celebrate my nephew's birthday, the one he's Lulu's age. Um, yeah, it just made me feel a bit sad, really. I thought I'll just come up and say hello to you ladies and do a video. That'll that'll get I'll get over it. Just get over it, Rachel. It is what it is, isn't it? Oh, I glued that one down. That's right. So I need to glue this and this and there. Here comes the the toxic tacky tacky glue. That's now I know why um, Caterina Giglio, she has a lovely YouTube channel. Um, she wears gloves when she's doing this sort of thing with these products. But I've never had a problem with my PVA because I know it's non-toxic. Need to get some glue under there. But this one obviously has some sort of agent in it that makes it dry faster. So that's probably what is the irritating bit. I would say it's a base of a PVA sort of glue with some sort of agent to dry quickly. It is useful to have something like that when you're gluing down pockets and things because that way you don't have to stay forever gluing them in place so obviously this journal will bulk up further I'm not going to cover that so I just sort of go through and and just choose pages to put things on I might put something on that side I put I don't like covering up these beautiful old pages but I don't mind putting a little pocket like that there I don't really have a number of pockets that I put in each signature you know me I don't have rules I just Go with the flow and do what I feel like doing. I might come back and add some tabs and I don't know. I just sort of, it just evolves. It's like the stitching. The stitching just evolves. It just, like while you're sitting there stitching, the next thing comes to mind. I'm hoping to get to do some work on that today because I haven't done, I didn't actually, I left you guys yesterday. I said I might come back. Then I had to go out, so I didn't come back. And I have to do a flippy thing there. I have to create that. Now, what I like to do sometimes here, I did keep some of the pages, just a sec. I wanted to do that with you guys. This is a good opportunity. So I've got some of these pages here that I didn't use that are double-sided. So what I'm going to do, for example, I could take this one, not that one. That one's already got folds in it. I'll choose one that doesn't have folds in it might choose this one. I'm going to glue it on there, like so. I might just tear it down a teeny tiny bit more because it seems to be a little bit long. Keep it more or less the height of your page. Okay, so I'm going to glue that. I'm going to put some glue on here. 
just going to eyeball about how much. Okay, maybe a bit more. I'm going to do a page extension. So I'm going to glue this on here. What I might do is just run a little piece. Where's my Tombow? Tombow? Here it is. I'm just going to run a little bit of glue along the edge here, just in case I didn't get, I put it, glue it down and it, I don't have glue there on my other page, if you know what I mean, just so that's not flipping up. But I'm also, I'll probably also put a strip of something there as well. So I'm going to put my page on here, like so. Let's open it out and glue that down. Okay, and then I'll put a strip of something there, I think. I, I, oh, do I still have my strips? I do. I'm going to take one of these, and that, that will also... I could even take this really narrow one, or this is what I keep them for. Something like that could be good. I didn't want to throw them out until I, I was done with my project, because I knew they could come in handy. I know it seems like the most ridiculous thing ever, but they are very useful. I'm going to glue that down there. It sort of breaks up the two pages as well. Or I could do this one here. Let's have a look. Oh, I think I'm going to have that one. Okay, so I'll glue that on. Okay, what is she doing? Extra writing space is what I'm doing. Take this, put this down there. I find these things really fun. And I find it, it makes it more interactive as well. And I'll just snip the extra bit off. Okay. So then I need to fold this like that. I'm going to fold it. So just fold it in such a way that it, it fits into your journal like so and then I fold it there and I might even put a tab on it so it pulls out like that so you could put photographs or do writing and then it pulls out like this and you've got all this writing space so I've grabbed my bone folder and just crease it really well because it does add a bit of bulk Okay, so that's that. That's what I wanted to add there. Now we're in the centre. In the centre of the signature, I like to do something. Um, where are my bits? Now we do have lots of writing space, so we could put something like that. Oh, isn't that pretty? I think I'm going to do that. Yes, I will. Now where's my cutter? Oh, it's just there behind my bed. I'm going to do it, cut it properly. So... I'm just going to sort of eyeball it, but cut it straight. And I try and cut similar amount off the top and bottom, I think. So I'll cut that amount off there, and then I'll cut the same amount off there, more or less. Just because you've got this, even though it's already different, I need to cut more off. So I'll cut more off, a bit more off here, and a little bit more off here. And I also need to snip that because I don't like that. And I'll snip that one because it's... And I could just take a bit of this out so it's a bit more even. And I'm going to put that on there. And I like that. I like the flower there. And it's a tuck spot. And I know it's on a piece of writing. I've got glue on my thing. It's a piece of writing. I've covered up some writing. But you can slip in some writing paper. You can slip in more. We've got plenty of writing space in here, so no harm in covering covering some of it up, some of it up. And I'll use the fast drying glue. Oh, I need to clean my table now. I made a mess. It's 
So I'm, I'm saving my fast drying glue for this type of thing, putting in pockets. If I'm not interested in how fast it, something dries, then I will use other glues. There we go. Stick that in there. And the other side I'm going to leave plain. I always like to have something a little bit interesting in the centre of a signature. So let's just grab this. I'll just wipe my fingers. I've got some on me. I probably should wear gloves. I wonder if it was that that upset my little finger, my pinky, my pinky pinky. Okay, so that's that. Just leave some. That's not such a strong page. I don't know that I'll put something on there. I can put something here. Well, that's even crooked, so let's just tear that off. I think I'll do that one. I have to think about what I want to put on there. Keep on going. We've got this bit here. I don't think I would put... I think I'm just going to tear that one off. I'll tell you why. Because it's the really old 1870s. See that? I mean, it's tearing. It's not even... You can hear the noise there, but up there it's a bit powdery. It was very quick to tear. So that I'm not going to attach anything to that because it would weaken too much. Now we do have a lot of pockets. Let's see when was the last pocket in the centre. So I can add one more pocket in this signature. It's the end. Maybe we could I wonder if that would cope with a pocket. Or maybe just a little collage. Hmm. Maybe just a little bit of a collage of something. So let's do that. So, where's that super old? Love this paper here. So I'm going to. Can't even tear it. I'm just going to take a piece of this. And stick it on there. Maybe I'll, no, down there because that's over there. Put that there, and then I'm going to go in my Florigium. Oh no, maybe I'll look in Jaff's images and see if there's anything here that I might like. If there's anything small. I could go across the top of a page somewhere. I don't think I want one of these, but let's have a look. I'll just tear one out. It's all happening. like that or would I like this more I think more than any of those ovals or circles I think I would prefer that I'm going to keep that out so I might I might use that somewhere so I do find I end up with a lot of um, pockets so I kind of exaggerate with the pockets so I think this is a nice alternative like the other lady more oh, there you go right that's 
there like that okay good right well i think i end my video up here because sarah's going to ring me back after after their dinner um i think she's trying to finish get her video finished i don't know if she will but she'll try so yeah i'll probably come i don't know if i'll come back and do another video on this or or whether or not um i'll just finish it off on off camera and then just to recap we finished off lulu's i love it i hope she likes it's really eclectic and flashy she'll like that yeah so that's lulu's um i might add a i don't know if i might add a little flower no i'm gonna leave it leave it leave it leave it so that's lulu's and then and when we've done this one and i did do a little bit of different thing for me inside the cover there i'm not putting anything there because i like it um yeah so i'll keep on working in this uh, i'll just tell you another thing i like to do sometimes so we've got our pockets that we've made um, but i also like to just take sometimes um, a piece of the paper like one of these papers um, have it folded like i could use one of these even though they're double it doesn't matter i like to just glue it down on the page on three sides and it's a side tuck i'll probably do some of that I might even use this one that's already folded because i'll glue that down and then it's um reinforced and it's just copy paper so it doesn't bulk up too much but i might put something like that here no maybe maybe not on that page i liked it on what page did i show it on before i liked it on, i think i liked it on there but i don't want to cover that page up that's rag paper um but i'll find a page to do it on yeah i like to do that sort of thing as well so i hope you enjoyed that video and you have a great day and i just wanted to check in and i will see you again soon bye